Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. I hope you're having an amazing day. If you're new here, first time watcher, welcome, enjoy, kick your feet up. Look what I've done with the place. If you're a returning subscribe member, thank you for continuing to follow my journey. Welcome, good to see you. Now, I've been getting some emails and some requests from men asking what qualities should I look for and a woman to determine if she's high value or not. And I said, that's a really good question because there are, I've done some videos on what makes a man high value. I haven't really done too many videos on what makes a woman high value. So I figured I would come up with the top 10 traits that make a woman high value or a woman who's in demand. Before I go on with that, what I need you guys, everyone to understand, none of this has anything to do with how somebody looks because I might find a woman very sexy. I might find her very attractive. You might not. Looks are very subjective. Same way with a woman might find me very attractive, but another woman might not. So. How somebody looks or how somebody appears to somebody else is very subjective. And none of that really means high value. None of those are traits of a high value man or traits of a high value woman. So I need you to understand that. With that, let's get after the very first one, femininity. She must be feminine. Now, when I hear feminine, even though I'm... I'm a little bit older and I don't know who this woman is. She died before my time, Marilyn Monroe. We all know who Marilyn Monroe is. Was she a supermodel? No. Was she a fitness model? No, she actually was very curvy. She was a, a little bit bigger of a woman, but she was very feminine. Go look at some of her her shows, go look at some of the clips. She was a very feminine woman. Look at the guys around here. They fell over her, basically. They were drooling over her. Today's day and age, there's a lot of women, women who play the I'm the boss bitch. They're always in their masculine, and they say, I'm Miss Independent, and all this other horse shit, and yet they don't understand why they can't get a man. This is exactly why. If you act in your masculine, men are going to be turned off by you because we don't want another man. We want a woman who's in her feminine. We want a woman who acts like a lady. This is what draws men to women is how feminine they are. The second one is she takes care of her appearance. I'm not saying anything about her looks. What she has, what God gave her, she is making the most of it. She cuts her hair, she bathes, she does her nails. She basically conveys, especially out in the dating world, that because she cares about herself and because she cares about what she looks like, she'll also care about her career, she'll also care about her family, her goals and eventually she'll care when she it's time for her to have children so taking care of her appearance taking care of what she has is a very feminine trait i'm sure you guys see women out there who basically throw freaking clothes on they they look like men they act like men they're attractive but they're missing that piece. They're, they're missing it in our eyes of like, listen, she's just not taking care of herself. This is another trait of being a high value man is they, the man takes care of himself irrespective of how he looks. So these traits go hand in hand for both men and women. And what it says to a man, she's a good return on his investment. When a man brings a woman into his life, especially if he is a higher value man, he understands I'm bringing her into my brand. Can she rep me? Can she help me level up my brand? Well, if she's dressed like a slob and doesn't make, you know, doesn't do her hair, she doesn't bathe, her nails are a, a fucking mess. 
Is that going to help his brand or is that going to lower his brand? It's going to lower his brand. So these are things that men, especially the higher level the man is, he's going to want a higher level woman. The third one is, and these pair together, but this is more about the body. She cares about her health. Does she go to the gym? Does, and even if she doesn't go to the gym, does she exercise? Maybe she likes to hike. Maybe she likes to go on a bike ride. Maybe she likes to run. Does she exercise? Does she do things to make her body move? Okay. Does she eat well? Does she drink enough water? Does she not smoke? Does she not do drugs? Does she generally care about her health? Again, this is another trait of a high value man. These two are identical. No woman wants a fat man who doesn't go to the gym, who excessively smokes, who excessively uses drugs. It signifies for a woman, this guy cannot take care of himself. It does the same thing for a man. A man sees this in a woman and he's like, she does not have the ability. She doesn't even value her own health she's not going to value this relationship and she probably won't be a good mother long term because she can't even take care of herself the fourth trait is that she cares about others she takes interest in people within her social network both men and women more importantly she cares about her partner she cares about the man that she's with she supports him in his goals and encourages him and his efforts. Now, I know women are out there saying, that's bullshit. I don't need a man to do that. I'm not going to do this to a man. Well, this is why you're alone. And that's fine. This is why when you're 50 or, or older, you'll have cats and box wine. And that's fine. This channel is not for you. I'm trying to help you level up so you get a man who is of high caliber just like you're trying to be this does go both ways too ladies you're not you're not going to expect less from your man in return so a high value woman yes you're supporting your man your man you're supporting his dreams his goals his aspirations and yet you're expecting him to do the same for you so it goes both ways you're entering into this team you might have different goals, but the same team is to grow together. That same goal ultimately is to start growing together, to start building together. Guys, one more thing before we continue. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, please consider hitting the like button. Obviously, it helps the algorithm, helps this channel grow. Hit the subscribe button. The more people that subscribe to this channel, obviously, it helps. And that bell icon so you know when new videos are being dropped. With that, let's get back. The fifth one, and this one, I was struggling with a little bit, but it's emotional stability. There's a lot of women out there that are complete fucking nut jobs, and there's a lot of men that are complete nut jobs. So this actual trait is the exact same. Men need to be socially aware, they need to be stable emotionally, and so do women. Now, because women tend to be more emotional than men, they get a little bit of a pass here. We're not expecting women to be completely avoidant of their emotions. Men tend to be at times. Women are emotional and it's a beautiful thing and it's something that we as men understand and can accept. When it, when it gets to a tipping point where you're too emotional, all the time it becomes a turnoff. So women, you still need to learn to self-regulate. Sometimes you need to self-soothe. Sometimes we're not always going to be there and you have to learn to take ownership of your emotions and learn to regulate them yourselves. Being emotionally stable doesn't mean, you know, she's not allowed to cry. Doesn't mean that she's never allowed to get angry. It doesn't even mean she can't even have a nervous breakdown once in a while. None of that has anything to do with the emotional stability. It's a normal part of living, normal part of just dealing with life. What they need to do is complement each other. So at the point where she's feeling weak in the moment, he can bring her up. And at the moment, he might be feeling weak or unsure. 
she can bring him up. This is the emotional acuity. This is that stability that you're bringing into the relationship. Relationships are like teeter-totters. One day, she might be up and you might be down. That balance has to come back and forth. It's never going to be perfect. There's always going to be a good day. There's always going to be a bad day. But in that emotional stability, there's this ability to communicate effectively with your partner. The seventh trait of a highly effective or a high value woman is she has social skills. Great social skills are great for everyone. She's representing your brand. So you're going to bring her into events and you're going to go to events that she brings you. You want a woman who can intelligently talk about subject matter. You want a woman who can understand who she's talking to and regulate her responses accordingly. If you're talking to somebody who's not as educated, she's expected not to use really big words for this guy. However, another guy is talking to her very educated. She can up her vocabulary. She has great social skills. She has a social compass. She's very regulated around her environment and she can pivot to whoever she's talking to and she can pivot in any dynamic she's in. If it's a high value function or if it's just a picnic with friends and family, she understands those dynamics. The number eight trade real quick guys is she doesn't play a lot of games. In relationships, everybody plays games, especially in the beginning, but a high value woman, she recognizes high value men or at least if they're portraying themselves as high value. She's really good at discernment. She'll figure it out if you're faking. So she will play some games. She might play some hard to get. She might test you to really see if you're the real deal. But once she understands that you're the real deal, that you're high level, you're at her level, probably above, she's gonna knock off a lot of the games because she knows you're few and far between. She knows that if she has the ability to have a win-win relationship with you, she's not going to fuck with it. That's just how a high-value woman she thinks. She doesn't really care about all the options that she has because she knows most of those options are garbage. She's looking for one person she can build with. The ninth trait, she knows how to set boundaries. Okay, this is a really good one. They're not pushovers. They know how to stand their ground. They know how to defend their boundary when they have to. So they're not pushovers. If you're not holding your end of the bargain of this relationship, she's going to let you know. She might give you a chance to fix it, but she recognizes her value. So if you're not fixing whatever deficiency you have, or if you're not holding your end of the bargain, she's going to bounce. So she understands her boundaries. It's just like I say for men, they understand who they are as people and they're going to defend their boundaries and they're going to defend their image just like a high value man is going to. Guys, in the final one, number 10, she has emotional intelligence. Understanding your emotions and understanding the emotions of other people, but it's also understanding how to communicate what you're feeling in a positive way matter. It's not about flying off the handle and causing drama in a situation that doesn't need it. So an example might be, maybe you're with this high value woman and she, you're in a situation where something's triggering her. You don't know what it is, but the situation, you may have said something and she is feeling a certain way about it. Well, instead of flying off the handle, like a lot of women do, she's going to leave the room, compose herself, understand that he might not know that this is a trigger for me. So at the time when she feels like she can intelligently explain this to you, she's going to set you to the side and say, hey, this happened. I had to leave the room because of this situation. I know it's not your fault because you didn't know, but now you know, can you please not do XYZ again, whatever it is. That's emotional intelligence. She's giving her partner or this situation the opportunity to correct itself 
instead of flying off the handle and making the situation worse. Now, if you don't correct the behavior, of course, then there's a whole other different set of circumstances or problems that could happen. But if you never knew the trigger and then she flies off the handle for no reason, that's a woman with low emotional intelligence. That's a person who, who doesn't know how to self-regulate. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Join the new school program. It's $7 a month, guys, for the first 50 people. I have hundreds of hours of videos, classes that you can take, blog articles, and you get to interact with me directly via the app. Take a look at it below. The first 50 members who join, it's $7 a month lifetime guaranteed you can't beat that these are this offer is only for the winners if you just like to consume content because it makes you feel good then this is probably not for you because these videos that I create are actually interactive you need to do some things and not just sit there and feel good about yourself and then when the video is over you go back to your crappy life that's not what this is about with that my name is jared have a great day and we'll talk soon